bunch of nonsense playing music that you've never heard before, but some of it so good that it's a pity that it won't get a, a, a wider platform. Uh, but we give it a platform, and uh, we sometimes don't even know uh, what it is going to sound like because uh, we we pick it on on the uh, on its title. Uh, sometimes, uh, where this one this morning, Festival de Cuba, we can guess a bit uh, what it's going to be like. Uh, but that's Rouser Radio for you, and uh, we are the sister station, or the brother station, or if you want to, to not to be sexist, the it station for for Mirador Television, miradortelevision.com, which you can find on Roku, you can find it on most social media platforms, uh, and you can find it uh, on our website, miradortelevision.com. Uh, so do take a look, join us. Take a look at Mirador Television. Take a little listen to Rouser. Not for everybody. Quirky is the word that's used. And then some of the people that work for me say, you know, you're the quirkiest boss I ever had. <laughs> and, and I suppose that there's a lot of truth in that. Uh, but uh, we do do our best to make things different. Because who wants lots more of the samest? No, we don't. Uh, anyway, um, uh, the sad thing is that if, in fact, it's going to be the hottest day that we've ever had, it's going to be very, very hot, and it's going to be 39 degrees centigrade, which, as I say, I have to convert to the old money. Um, so that, uh, that to me, uh, is over 100 degrees. So I'm going to, have to put a converter on after the show just to make sure that I'm, I'm right. But uh, it looks that way. Speaking of old money, I went past... Uh, I had to go to... to, to Brighton yesterday to go to the bank and uh, it is extraordinary because I left Lewis at, uh, on the 10 to 1 bus it's about a half hour journey I, my appointment was at 2 o'clock I got in there uh, luckily with uh, my colleague Any who uh, was holding my hand because uh, whenever I go into a bank I, I get <laughs> very nervous <laughs> don't like bankers <laughs> they don't like me much uh, and uh, it was four o'clock after four when we came out. It was uh, two and a half hours of, uh, uh, of, of real grilling. And uh, the difference is that with coronavirus is everybody uh, wants to get in and open a business account because it's a way to getting loans and stuff. Uh, so uh, we, we'd waited two weeks to get this uh, appointment. And then the appointment itself took, uh, oh, it was wearing we were ready to go and get a beer afterwards uh but um that that's the way that things are at the moment and you have to watch it very carefully that uh, you expect things to be the way they were and then you suddenly find yourself uh, i i mean i i'd got it in my my mind it would be like usual 10 minutes thank you very much you can't shake hands but you say uh, ta and off i'd go after two and a half hours, boy, had I been through the ringer, and this bloke knew every last bit of information about my finances that had ever been posted, and uh, I, in some ways I was glad because we got the uh, we we got the all clear. We're okay. We're not laundering money. We're not going broke. Uh, uh, all, all the rest of the things. So, uh, all in all, it's good to be examined like that, I suppose. But two hours, two and a half hours. And I really can't remember. Oh, I know why I started to tell you that. Because um, it, it is, I'm afraid, going to be a very cold and frosty scene out there, despite the fact that we're ex heading for record-breaking heat wave today, 39 degrees centigrade. Because along with that, the Bank of England is now saying that there will be well over a million people who will lose their job. Now, that, that's, that's a pretty good chunk of the workforce. And it, it is sad indeed that this is going to happen. Something at the beginning of the year when we entered 2020 with great hopes for all sorts of things, to find that our economy and our life have been shattered. Nothing is going to be the same anymore. Yeah, there are sort of little perks. You, you get 50% off your meal in some places, and that has been very welcome. 
I have to say that uh, when a bill that should have been 30 quid or 35 quid came along at £15.75, I was very grateful. Uh, don't misunderstand that there aren't good things, and I haven't enjoyed them and appreciated them, but a million people out of work. And uh, to uh, de demonstrate that, we uh, were looking for uh, what's known as a videographer, as uh, somebody who can shoot with a camera, a video camera, and also edit to a professional level. And we put a, a, an advertisement into one of the recruiting uh, websites. I think I put it in on uh, a, a Sunday morning when nobody's supposed to be watching or reading or looking. And by Monday lunchtime, we got 150 applicants for one job. So despite the heat, despite the sun, on the job front, it's chilly out there. If you've got one, hang on to it. If you haven't, don't expect that you'll get the same terms that you had before lockdown. This is where the economy is going to hit. And that means that there are a million more people to look after from a state's point of view. A million more people who will not be paying taxes. So even if you are, an, shall I call it, an economic virgin, you can see the trouble that we're heading towards. Very, very sad. Very sad indeed. Oh, let's lighten the mood a little. Let's go with Festival to Cuba. Whee! Maxwell and Jimmy Fontanes. And that uh, brightens the mood a little, doesn't it? Uh, one of the uh, people that uh, appear on Mirador Television, uh, 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 excellent veteran journalist, Rosie Hayes. Both have the same surname that we're not related, as far as we're aware. Uh, but uh, Rosie has worked with me in many places, in, in Russia, in uh, um, London, in uh, all sorts of places. But it, it, her career took her in uh, her early days. Um, to Cuba and she uh, did a stint in Cuba and has some pictures of herself with Fidel Castro um, not long, I shouldn't say not long after the uh, the revolution because uh, Rosie isn't that old but certainly when uh, the, the, uh, the socialist approach to things after the Batista regime uh, was getting going and uh, it was a, an interesting time, to say the least. And, of course, uh, that was when the world met some real tension uh, because the Cuban authorities, uh, Fidel, invited the Russians to stick a few uh, rockets on the island uh, because it was in uh, reach of the United States. And I think it was Khrushchev who set off, uh, or sent out some boats loaded with rockets uh, um, uh, nuclear rockets and they headed for Cuba and uh, President Kennedy John F. Kennedy sadly assassinated while in office 
uh, it, it saw what was happening and uh, sent out the, uh, the the American Navy and said, you don't turn around and go back, there's going to be trouble. So we came as close as that to a nuclear war. Khrushchev saw that for what he was gaining, uh, that the price was too high and the ships turned back. But the world watched to see whether in fact they would turn back. The drama was incredible. And then following that was the Bay of Pigs invasion, where the those people who had been exiled as a result of the takeover by Castro uh, decided to put together a, a half-ass army and uh, go back uh, and, and try and uh, take back uh, rule of the island uh, by armed force. And it was a complete and utter fiasco. Complete and utter fiasco. No planning. They weren't really armed very well. Uh, they they ended up on beaches that they didn't know existed and were arrested the moment they set foot there. The Bay of Pigs invasion. Well, choosing a Bay of Pigs has got to be the right sort of thing, I would have thought, uh, because uh, everything ended in disaster. But anyway, Rosie was there throughout all those exciting times, and uh, now she's here with uh, Mirador Television. God bless her. And, uh, and she pops up from time to time with some super stuff. Uh, uh, nice to know that we've got veterans around Rosie who've been there, done that, much a bit like me. Um, and if you're going into journalism, believe me, get every experience that you can. Because sitting on your backside and going into the internet, A, it's not much fun, and B, it's not journalism. Because that's where fake news and all sorts of other mistakes are made. 26 minutes into our program, and it's uh, 6.57 this morning. Uh, so we've only got three minutes left, haven't we? Goodness gracious me, shall we try and play something else before we go? You're listening to Rouse Radio, by the way, and I'm Keith Hayes. And this is from Lewis in East Sussex. Um, why not? Let's, let's try and jam in something. I can't even remember what it was. Uh, 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 oh, there's something called dynamite. Let's see if it's dynamite. I'm not sure whether that sound was somebody kissing. And if it was, uh, don't get too excited because uh, freshers, you're banned from bonking. <laughs> 800 pounds fine if you if you decide to have a, a, a little bit of a, a flutter in bed when you get to university for the first time. So watch out. Expensive uh, uh, night at the races, as it were. <laughs> so do, do be very careful. And whether that was... <laughs> was was just a reminder of what might have been in store if it wasn't for coronavirus. Anyway, that's the morning gone by. Hottest day of the year so far. Probably hottest of the century. 39 centigrade. And I'm going to just look up to see what that means in uh, in the old coinage Fahrenheit. I'm pretty sure it's over 100. But let's say goodbye. And I think this morning we're going to play out with uh, Yeva Suyan, the nice people that I know in Armenia, and a voice of absolute gold. Here she is, Yeva. Keith Hayes in Lewis, Rouser Radio. Have a very good hot day and watch the bonking. Never, never.
let you go.